something that's very useful to be able to do uh, when restoring old, old cars, and that's nickel electroplating. What do you need to do this? It's not as complicated as you might think. Um, the hard part is getting a piece of nickel. Um, you can order this all off eBay. Um, the, the sheet was like that big and cost like 11 bucks, I think. Next, you're gonna need some vinegar, and then you're going to need an electric source. Um, to start off with, we need to make uh, a, a nickel acetate, which is very simple. I know, big words, it's scary. Take some vinegar, dump it into a container, Yeah, there you go. Next, you're gonna take your nickel plate, cut it in half so you can have a piece on each side. I've done some earlier, so I'm gonna skip that step for now. Then you're gonna need some table salt. The table salt will help, help the electricity flow through the vinegar and release the nickel into the solution. So now we have our, our nickel in, in our vinegar or salt solution. No, we're not making fish and chips. Um, and from this point on, you won't want to drink it. It's poisonous. So uh, what you need to do now is simply take uh, some power and feed it from one side to the other. Power source hasn't, doesn't have to be very much. We're going to do it using a, a USB plug. This was an old one that the end got uh, uh, the end was breaking off so it, it wouldn't plug in anymore, but the power still works. I stripped one end. Um, you just put one end on one side, one end on the other, and then it'll start to bubble. Now once it bubbles for a long time, it will uh, start turning the solution green. And you want to leave it for a good time till it turns a nice dark green. That means there's lots of nickel in the solution. All right, so now you have your nickel acetate prepped. It should be nice and dark and green like this. Um, the darker, the better. Um, when you plate, the nickel flows from, from the plates onto the piece. So if you only have one plate in, the, in your tank, uh, it will only imprint on one side. So you have to turn your piece all the time. Um, I had lots of nickel, so I made four little pieces. Uh, so when I put my part in, it, the nickel attaches from all sides. Um, to show you how to do this, I thought we would plate this key. It's uh, the key to my Sprite, and as you can see, it's, uh, it used to be all bright and shiny, and now the brass is, is showing through. The important thing when you plate it has to be absolutely clean, free of grease and rust and corrosion. And there, there are some people who suggest uh, taking the part uh, once it's ready to, to, to go and dipping it in mercuric acid and then distilled water and then in the plating solution. Um, that's probably a good idea, but then you're dealing with a highly corrosive acid, so you have to be very careful. We're going to skip the, that step this time. I have washed this with uh, vinegar, just straight up vinegar to, to uh, get any uh, grease fingerprints off. So, um, this goes into the tank. We're just using a bar across it. Um, we have the positive side on the plates. Positive to the plates, and the negative side, even though this is red, will go to the parts. So it's going to go through the, through the piece of copper, uh, through the wire down into the tank and uh, to connect to the part. And you can see it's already bubbling. I don't know if you can see it. I can see it. It's bubbling. It's producing a hydrogen gas. So you don't want you don't want to do this in an enclosed space. You also don't want to do this like uh, in your living room. Your, your wife probably isn't going to like that. Um, the smell of of, of the vinegar. Um, it can be a bit strong at times. 
So to get a good solid plate on things, um, I've found it takes about 20 minutes um, of, of this process going on. Uh, if you want, if you're looking for just a light coat, you can do it, you know, very short time. Um, let's pull this out. Already, I can see that the, the entire key is coated, but it's going to be, uh, well, almost the entire key but it's uh it's going to take longer to get a, a build up that's enough to actually pr protect the key so we'll let that go for a while and we'll come back so it really only took about five minutes as you can see it's uh it's solid color all the way around um, i don't need a lot of build up on there i was just wanting to change the color actually because uh, the brass was showing too the solution will, will last a long time. You can put it back in the vinegar bottle and save it till next time. Um, just mark that, you know, be safe, mark it so you don't think it's vinegar. But uh, it is a really handy process to know. It's a, it's a good thing to set up in your shop. Uh, there's many, many uses for it. I highly recommend it.